Now I want to proofread the translation that I've created by dictation. To do that, I'm going to go into Live Docs and import both the source document and the translation that I created. So I'll click Add Alignment Pairs. Select the source document, click open, now click add target documents, select the translation created with the dictation, click open. Because the file names are similar, LiveDocs has automatically linked the two files. I'm going to go with all of the defaults, so simply click OK to perform the alignment. Now I'm going to go over to the Translations window, import the source document once again, and pre-translate it via Operations, Pre-translate with any match. Let's have a look and see what we've got. The segments seem to be populated. The match rating is 85 percent even though these are full matches with what I have in LiveDocs. That's because of the penalties that I have assigned to my LiveDocs corpus. Okay, here we seem to have a small problem with the alignment. We can take a look at the LiveDocs corpus if we wish and make corrections. Okay, the rest of it looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and do corrections. Now that I've completed the editing, I want to do a QA check for the terminology. So first I'll go back to Project Home and check that I have the correct term base selected. Okay, I do. That's Snake's QA. And then I will go to Settings and check that I have the right QA profile selected. Okay, I want to select the Terminology Check QA Profile. Now I go to Operations, Run QA. It's going to do the QA check on the active document. Select OK. And here I see two problems indicated. They're both terminology problems, 
and in one case I've translated environment uh, where I should have had habitats so I'll change that and in the second case aha I see I have a spelling error so I will correct that okay now the errors have changed to green which indicates that they have been taken care of and if I refresh the data I'll see that there are no errors remaining so now I'm finished and I can export my translation.